What is happening everyone? Welcome back to G-Ball Vision. Thank you for stopping in. Today we have a real exciting unboxing to dig into. Before we get started, double check and make sure you are subscribed to the channel. I'd love to have you here. And before you head out, do me a huge favor. Hit that thumbs up button. I greatly appreciate everyone. Really helps push the videos out there so more people have a chance to check them out. And feel free to let me know what you're carrying in your pockets today down in the comments. I love hearing from you guys and what you have in the pocket for your EDC. So let's uh, see what we have here. Huge shout out to Vostid for sending this in for us to take a look at. And we have their tin. So this, I, I, I've come to the conclusion that, because they have a bunch of different packaging, and the tin typically means it's kind of a mid mid-range knife, right? because within the tin we're going to have a pouch and then their premium stuff comes in the orange hard case and then you also have their basic stuff which still comes in a zipper pouch and underneath here we'll have a sticker and a microfiber cloth we won't show you the sticker just yet unless you got a sneak peek you have a removable re there just in case you've never seen vostid's unpackaging and here we are sporting their brand new hedgehog guys and this is the one in my opinion so recently they put out a micarta hedgehog and it, it's really good uh really really solid but in my opinion and, and for the money it, it's a good uh it was a good knife it is a good knife but i felt like in the unboxing of that video that the knife could be in a much more premium fashion and pull it off right you know how some knives are destined to just be a budget knife but then other knives and i think that's what vostid was doing they were putting out some feelers with the hedgehog and kind of gauging how it was received right and i think it was received very well to the point where they were like okay let's let's upgrade this thing and go with black aluminum now my guess is because this is aluminum they're probably going to have some different variations of this knife uh, but we're going to also be getting a step up in blade steel here as well to s35 vn now as far as price point goes guys i'm not sure i'll have these linked down below they should be available when you are seeing this video uh, i'll have a link down there you can head over and check it out if you use that link it does help the channel out but that is entirely up to you uh, but i believe uh, just based off past experience with Vostid and their pricing and, and all of that sort of thing, I'm going to guess these are going to come in around a hundred bucks, give or take 20 bucks. So they might be like 120. Uh, I don't, I don't see them going lower than a hundred. So I'm going to guess like, uh, I'm going to guess a hundred to 120, uh, is probably a pretty solid price for these. And not only is the steel upgrade, the handle upgrade, in my opinion, going to be well worth it, but you're also, the key feature here is going to be this top liner lock, which if you're not familiar with, it is a compression style lock, uh, i.e. Spyderco. So basically, the liner is in the rear here, and you have a stop pin. It's going to be much stronger than a standard plunge lock, much, much stronger. And in my opinion, it's also going to be stronger than a standard liner lock. Uh, to this day, I have not had a compression style lock uh, fail. Any type of lock test in any which way, any fashion, I have never had one fail, whether it's from Spyderco uh, or Vostid. Now, there's not a ton of companies doing it uh, just yet. It's coming. There are companies doing it now that have just put their first models out there. But we're going to see a ton of this. I've already said it in the past. Uh, when the Raccoon came out, when we saw some of Vostid's early models come out with uh, the Hedgehog, for one. I think it was the Hedgehog unboxing. You can go back and check it, uh, which has been several weeks at this point. I say in that unboxing that these are the future as far as button locks go. Uh, we will probably... 
within a year or so, we probably won't see much in the way of plunge locks anymore uh, because they're just not, they've been able to make them more resilient by getting everything perfect in there, uh, but they're still just so hit or miss sometimes that it's not worth the risk for the company. It's not worth the risk for the consumer more so. Uh, I've heard time and time again, and I get it. I, I have no, I don't put any blame or fault on any consumer who wants to steer clear of a standard plunge lock, button lock style knife. Uh, just because of all the issues over the last year and a half, two years that plunge lock knives have had, uh, it's been astronomical. And it doesn't matter which company we're talking about, whether we're talking foreign made, USA made, it doesn't matter. There has been a lot of issues with plunge locks. And, and yes, even ProTech has had uh, their issues with either the Malibu or the Mordax. Why don't we go ahead and see what this thing looks like in the pocket. It's going to carry just like a lot of Vostids do, but this one's going to carry a little bit deeper in the pocket than most Vostids. It's, they're still using their standard pocket clip here, but it's going to carry much deeper. Uh, Vostid likes to use what I call a lower mounted deep carry clip. So typically you would see a, about this much knife poking out of the pocket. But I think they are making the adjustment to moving it back a little bit more. So that way it's going to carry a little bit deeper in the pocket. But I have to say, it doesn't bother me that they do that uh, lower mounted deep carry clip where there's going to be a little bit poking out. Uh, it's kind of choosing function over form, right? Uh, but it's going to carry very nice. This thing has a beautiful two-tone blade as well. Uh, the camera should be picking it up nicely there for you. But the primary here has almost like a, I don't want to say a gray DLC, but that's it, it's a gray finish. I don't know if it's a PVD or a DLC. I, I highly doubt it's a DLC finish, uh, but it's some sort of gray PVD processed finish, right? And then on the flats here and here, we have a hand satin. And this thing just looks beautiful. Contrast with the black aluminum and then the all satin hardware. Actually, the button is grayed out like the primary here. And then you have satin hardware. So it looks really stinking good. This thing looks mean as hell. And then the backspacer here is going to match the button. So they really thought this thing through. And then they kind of tumble the clip there. Uh, that looks, this thing looks really, really good. I know initially based on the first one, a lot of people were like, ah, it's a little thick behind the edge and blah, 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 blah. Yeah, not every knife is meant to be, you know, a razor blade, right? Uh, th this is meant more for a little bit more umph, right? It's going to do better in a little bit higher pressure situations, so to speak. Uh, you know, it it's nice to have a razor-like uh, folding knife, but it's also nice to have something that you can kind of rough up uh, and not have to worry about the edge or the blade, right? Uh, that's my personal opinion. I know some people, you know, edge retention and 90 thousandths blade stock and 10 thousandths behind the edge, you know, and, and that's all fine and dandy. But, you know, being realistic, there are other scenarios and other occasions where you need something a little bit more stout, right? And as we're demonstrating here, uh, you can have something that's geared more for a little bit harder use and still have a really, really clean edge. And that is something that this bad boy has. Uh, I'm falling in love with this thing. So here is the original Hedgehog. And although a, a great looking knife, uh, 
has performed very well. Uh, oh, this one came in S35 too. Why did I think it was 14C? So really the upgrade is going to be the finish and the handle here. Uh, why did I think that was 14C? I don't know why. I even looked at it earlier because I knew I'd be, uh, I'm tripping. So really we're looking at an upgrade in the handle material and then an upgraded two-tone finish. So they're going to perform the same uh, as far as the steel is concerned. Now for the people who wanted more of a premium looking hedgehog, right? Then the newer one is going to be the way to go. If you want something that's a little bit more uh, affordable and got a completely different aesthetic, because it really does, with the coated blade and the blacked out hardware and the micarta handle, it just has a different look to it, right? Uh, but they're going to perform uh, the same. You just kind of get to pick your poison now at this point with the uh, micarta or the aluminum. And, you know, had the aluminum not had any texturing, I could see a lot of people saying, well, that's going to be too slick. But they have found a way to... Now, it is slick in a sense, but I I would have a hard time believing that in a sta even a standard grip, but in a choked up grip especially, this knife is not coming out of my hand. Uh... Now, I don't know about you, uh, but this knife's not coming out of my hand. I don't have, you know, girly ass hands, uh, so it's not going to come out of my hand. I've never once had an issue with an aluminum handle knife coming out of my hand at any point in time. Even if we're talking about, like, the slick uh, Protec Malibu aluminum type handles. I've never had an issue. Uh, and I see people say that, but... I have never had that experience. Now, if your hand is bloody uh, or you just dumped, you know, car oil all over your hand and then you go to pick this up, then yeah, I, I could maybe see it being a little slick. But uh, even in this standard grip, this thing is not coming out of my hand whatsoever. I mean, I could rip on this thing all day long and it's not coming out of my hand. So, you know, and most people, let's be realistic here. They're going to be casually cutting stuff. Now, we do have people out there who are going to use this thing, abuse this thing, uh, and, and not have any qualms about it. Uh, and, and for those people <clears throat> who are really going to be using this and beating on it, they're, they're not worried about this thing slipping out of their hand, uh, just like I'm not going to be. So, you know, if, if that's a worry for you, I, I'm not making fun of you necessarily but if it's you know if that's an issue for you if you have fatigued hands or older hands or something like that then yes i completely understand that that's a separate thing than a 20 30 year old with no issues saying you know it's too slippery uh <laughs> uh it, it should not be that's why they make them in aluminum it, it just it shouldn't be and as my hands get sweaty and tacky right they tend to get grippier on aluminum or any handle material for that matter. Uh, to say aluminum is slippery, that's saying basically that titanium and steel are slippery as well. I just, I don't see it. I don't agree with that. But if it's your worry, you know, then you can always go with the micarta here, which is going to be in, in you know, in essence, a lot grippier. So, than the aluminum so there is that side of things but for me personally based on aesthetic based on feel uh the aluminum one is going to be where it's at for me uh i love this design and it, it's it's going to continue being phenomenal now we can check the check the lock here but uh there's really no point this is going to pass with flying colors. Now, it is centered, and there's no movement up or down, side to side. Great lock up. Locked up like a frog's ass. Yeah. And then you have that beautiful rear flipper tab. Works flawlessly. Love that thing. 
And then you got this aggressive jimping here. This thing is just made for work right here. Just made for work. Plenty of blade length there to do, plenty of edge to do what you need to do and be very comfortable while doing it. This thing is just made for work. And then they did a beautiful job, put a filler tab in there, made this left hand friendly. Uh, just a, a great job from Vosteed. Yet again, uh, they continue to push the envelope and they are coming for everyone. I'm telling you, uh, they are, they have everyone on a, a map and they are coming for everyone. Uh, I, it won't surprise me to see Vosteed. They already are blown up as a company, but they are just going to explode here. They are going to be someone to reckon with as is Kaiser, right? Kaiser somebody to reckon with. And Vosteed is literally about to put themselves right next to Kaiser. They already have, uh, in a sense. They just aren't as big of a company and just cannot push out as many new models, but they sure do a hell of a good job. As small as a company as they are, pushing out new models, redoing old models, and, and imp implicating new uh, locks and new steels and that sort of thing, new handles. They just, they really got something going on over there and it's been impressive to watch. You guys will have to let me know, what do you think of the new Hedgehog here coming in aluminum with that two-tone finished blade? I think it looks absolutely beautiful. You'll have to let me know what you think. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. Always appreciate it, everyone. It really helps push the video out there so more people have a chance to check it out and feel free to hit that subscribe button because we do videos just like this one every single day. Ring the little bell. That'll let you know anytime I release any new videos. That'll wrap this one up, guys. I'll throw up a couple of new videos. Go check one of them out. Have yourself an awesome day. Thanks again for watching. I will catch you on the next one.